Hello, Jim Steska here, coming to you from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Thanks for joining me with Jim's Recipe of the Week. Uh, my recipe this week actually comes from this uh, Dreamfields Elbow Macaroni box. Okay, this is actually the uh, brand of pasta that I, uh, that I eat most of the time. Okay, uh, the other brand that I might try is Barilla Plus. It's called Barilla Plus. But on this uh, elbow macaroni box, it has what's called a quick chili macaroni skillet. I just call it easy chili macaroni. Okay, uh, very easy to make and actually uh, the kids will love it. Okay, if you have kids and you're trying to figure out what to, maybe a weekend meal, you're trying to figure out what to cook for them, uh, chances are your kids will love this, uh, love this recipe. Okay. Uh, now what you do, I, I use ground beef, uh, you can actually use ground turkey, ground chicken, uh, anything like that. Uh, actually if you want less fat content in your meal, then it would be wise to add ground turkey or uh, ground chicken instead of the ground beef, but I happen to use ground beef for this recipe. Okay, uh, and actually the fat content in that is actually why this got a grade of a C plus when I entered it into uh, calorie.about.com uh, website to get the nutrition information that I provided with this video. Okay, uh, but your body does need fat. Uh, you need fat for energy. You need to consume fat for uh, energy. So, uh, so having fat in your in your meals isn't uh, isn't all that bad, actually. If you are uh, on a way to be healthy and fit, okay. Uh, you just can't eat all fat, but if you have a good balanced diet with fat in it, that's a good thing. Okay. Uh, so what I did was I put uh, a couple, uh, I think about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. This uh, this said two teaspoons of canola oil. I used olive oil and said uh, about a tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, and then I put uh, the ground beef in there and the onion. Chopped up uh, chopped up an onion. And put in uh, put in the onion, ground beef, and brown the ground beef. How much onion? Yeah, one medium onion it, it, it calls for. So uh, uh, brown that. Uh, also cook the pasta. Uh, uh, really, what you're supposed to do is start the pasta first. So you start the pasta and cook that for. Uh, I believe it calls for nine minutes. Okay, let's see, eight minutes actually. Eight minutes to cook the pasta. Okay, and by the time the pasta is cooked, the beef should be uh, done as well. It doesn't take too long to brown some ground beef. Okay, then you throw in the uh, diced tomatoes. Now, I use no salt version diced tomatoes. So put in uh, a can of uh, diced tomatoes. Okay, and the chili powder. Okay, this calls for two teaspoons of chili powder. You could use, I may have used a tablespoon of chili powder, uh, but that's what gives it the chili flavor, uh, of course. So... Uh, put the chili powder, mix that all together pretty well. Okay, uh, heat that, uh, cook that through, let's see, uh, for about uh, two to three minutes. Okay, uh, then what I did was I added the beans. Now I used again a no salt, light red kidney bean, no salt added. Okay, light red kidney bean. And put a can of that in there, rinsed. I, what I did with the kidney beans before I threw them in is I rinsed them. Uh, in a colander and, uh, and drain them and everything like that. So you rinse them off with, uh, with water real good and drain them and then you put the kidney beans in there uh, as well. Uh, then I, I put the cooked uh, macaroni. So you mix all that together and I have a picture of what it looks like in the skillet when it's done. Uh, it makes about six servings. This recipe makes about six servings. Uh, it has about 370 calories per serving. Uh, very high in fiber. Uh, got a good amount of potassium, uh, low in sodium because I put the no salt version of the uh, the canned goods. Okay, uh, does have a good protein content, uh, good carbohydrate content for energy, and a good uh, balanced fat content as well uh, in this recipe. Uh, and then what you do when you serve it? Again, this is a variation as well. You can top it with uh, cheddar cheese. My kids love cheddar cheese, so I put cheddar cheese on top. Uh, and I also had some uh, some of the cheddar cheese myself uh, as well. Okay, so uh, so I bon appetit. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Uh, make any comments after you make it. If you if you liked it, uh, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. 
Okay, also I uh, provided a link to uh, my healthy living consultation. Definitely uh, take advantage of that. Give me a call, contact me so we can schedule an appointment so uh, I could talk you through how to uh, become healthy and fit, the best shape, get in the best shape of your life, and maintain it for a lifetime. Okay, and you could also, uh, with the link, research the beach body products that I uh, that I promote, and also uh, if you're so inclined, place an order uh, as well on my beach body website. Okay. So may God bless you with excellent health and have a nice evening. Bye.